Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine. Uh, it says short and sweet because I couldn't find my little my little snippet um, that says book haul. So it's actually a book haul. But you know, when you when you always start with a card, you got to start with a card. Now hold on. I have to turn down. <laughs> I I watch um, my latest thing that I watch on YouTube. Hold on. There we go. Um, I found this man that has built a log cabin up in um, up in the forest up in northern Ontario, and it's actually fascinating uh, watching how he works. He just turns on his camera and works. He does once in a while he'll speak to the camera, and explain what he's doing, but for the most part, it's just simply the camera. He turns it on while he's working and building. Well, he started off with building the log cabin and then he built a, oh wait, I think he started with the outhouse, <laughs> which is wise. Um, and then he, uh, the log cabin, he's since built sort of an outdoor kitchen and he's doing it all uh, self-sufficiently. Like he doesn't, because it's off grid, his tools are all manual, like his drills, his saws, all those things. He's using the wood from his land to build his structures. It's just, it's fascinating. And he's very, very talented. So anyhow, so I went up to my Kirby church book sale today because I was worried uh, that they were going to be ending soon um, because of the COVID virus um, some of the older people that volunteer and help, they've been doing their work part of it outside. So they've been getting names and numbers so that they can call in case somebody's been exposed, uh, that sort of thing. And rather than having them indoors, they've had them set up outside um, where it's safer. But it's starting to get cold up here. We actually turned our furnace on this morning. Um, so actually I'm glad I went because next week is going to be their last week before they close for the winter. And, uh, I'm not sure yet whether I would be able to make it or not next week. So I'm glad I went this week. And, uh, for the first time ever, my husband came with me. Um, but he had to do, he was working out of the car. So he mostly just waited in the car for me, but at least he got to see where it is that I, where I wander <laughs> uh, every so often in the nice weather. So I actually, um, I found a lot of nice books. I think I got, I think I got 16 books. Um, I'll have to recount again. And then on our way home, we passed a yard sale and I got one, two, three, four more books at the yard sale. So I had a good book haul. Um, and hopefully I have enough to keep me keep me inspired through the winter, especially in case we're locked down again this winter. So I thought that I see these books all the time and I thought, you know, where else am I going to get them at such a good price? And I just thought it might make a fun, like a fun glue book, you know, that sort of thing. I don't think there's a year in it. It's Blackie and Son. Oh, I can promise you there's no year in it. <laughs> Blackie Publishers were notorious for never putting a year in their books. Anyhow, I just thought that was cute. I thought I can do something with that. I can perk it up a little bit and uh, I don't know, maybe turn it into a turn it into a glue book or something. I love. Obviously, someone was an artist. There's paint on the back and exhibition exhibit yeah she's trying to spell exhibition so i got a couple of those i love this one look at her isn't that pretty so what have we got stuck here okay um again hey oh my she looks wonderful i bet this is like 1950s that bathing suit it's 50s or 60s yeah maybe 60s 58. Oh, I'm good. 1958. Look at that. Cute. I'm not sure how much of the interior would get used, but I just think this would make a really cute, maybe like a glue book or a keepsake kind of book. Um, I love this book. The Torch, a book of poems for boys. It's just, it's 
beautiful. The color is gorgeous. Um, and I love the embossing around the edge. And if I found the right piece of artwork to go in there, this could just be a beautiful book. This would make a lovely journal. It's full of poetry. Let's see if there's some... Um... Oh yeah, look, there's some color plates. That looks like Jesse. Hmm. Maybe it'll say in the front. What's it? Just Jesse Wilcox Smith? Illustrations in color by Elizabeth Shippen Green. Oh, and others. Okay, so who knows? Oh gosh, they're cute. Oh, look at there's rainbows in that one. I love it. Is there a year? Acknowledgements. Contents. Oh, they don't usually find a year after contents. Wow. Illustrations, lullabies. Nope, no year. Boy, it's pretty. All right. What do we guess for this one? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking 1920s. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking 20s, maybe 30s, but I would bet more money on 20s, 1920s at some point in the 20s. So I, I really, really love this one, but I do think I would be tempted to um, either cover up the whole center with something you know, like the way with um, Mr. Snook's book or with Frida to just put a beautiful portrait there or else maybe just put the portrait here and leave the torch a book of poems. I don't know. We'll see. Now I got this. I'm not sure. It's a huge read-along version of Charlotte's Web. A special read-along version, it says. And it's actually, it's like a great big version of the original hardcover of Charlotte's Web. And I thought, wouldn't this make a great, um, you know, like a keepsake book or a scrap type book? 1952, no, this is 1997. So, and I like how big the type is. Wouldn't these make great word snippets i love when word snippets are evident that you know what book it came from and you're going to find like if like fern was happy you know what book that came from for and salutations i'm sure there's i'm sure it's in here somewhere salutations um i bet hmm anyhow so I was happy to find this one. I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with this great big Charlotte's Web. It's huge. <laughs> now this, they always put aside a few for me and they put aside this one for me. And at first, at first I said, oh no, thank you, but no. And then I started looking at it because it's a pop-up book of castles. But then I realized, oh, you go, you must go up. Oh, you do. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. You can put the uh, turret up. But then I got to thinking, wouldn't these maybe be make fun? Um, oh, do I have? I hope I haven't been taping off screen. Wouldn't these make fun, like little windows and window pockets in a junk journal? Oh, oh, what's not? Come on. There we go. I don't know. I just thought it's worth playing with these little funny windows to make little tuck spots because they look like castle castle windows. I'm going to play with it and see. What's... Is this a book? Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, you're the story. Oh, it looks like there was characters. This must have been a cute book at one point. That's cute. Well, you know what? For one dollar, I'll think about it. Now this book uh, looks looks 
it, I think it's a reprint, but part of me thinks it isn't a reprint because, oh, hi, honey. Dot just walked in the room. Hi, sweetie. You snuggle up in your bed. There you go. In your papa. That's a good girl. Daddy must have fallen asleep. Um, it's Australian. Um, because at first when I saw Coles, we used to have bookstores in Canada but called Coles Bookstores. So at first I thought it was Canadian, but it is uh, Melbourne. E.W. Cole Publishing House, Melbourne. Um, and then I thought maybe it was a reprint but I think it I think it is a reprint but I do think it's still old because some of the topics in here are inappropriate now but a lot of them are really good so I will be happily cutting this up and discarding the inappropriate parts and uh, hanging on to uh, the cool the cool things like there's some pretty little illustrations in here so we'll see again it was worth it um it's not very thick paper i'd be gluing it onto things i think um we'll see this is also a reprint and it's on cardstock it's a reprint of an antique pop-up book but i thought the illustrations were lovely and again i thought i could uh, maybe take it apart because it's all cardstock. See, see how it's all pop up things. Um, yeah, it's worth exploring. Maybe there's something cool that could be made out of it. We'll see. I'm gonna put it aside for now, and if not. I will re-donate it. I'm sorry about the glare. I have a new desk lamp. Um, I even have this wrapped right now to try and cut down on the glare. The lamp itself to work by is lovely. It's it's so refreshing on my eyes, but it's a terrible to record videos by. Just terrible, the glare. Uh, so I grabbed this. It's because it's drawings rather than um, photos. And there's just lots of little, this is going to be one of my sit, sit in front of the TV and fussy cut books. And it's, it's just mostly all trees. Oh, look, somebody was pressing. I wonder what that is. Dogwood. It's in with the dogwood. I wonder if that's dogwood. Hmm. Yeah. So I was happy with that. I don't, I think I only have one book on trees. So that will get, I ha, I've often have times where I wish I had some fuss cuts of some leaves. Um, and then I got a stack of the pretty books, like they're like 1910s to 1920s. Here's a pansies, pansy series book, The Hall in the Grove, a pansy book. I love the color of it. It's, I hope it's showing up. It's sort of a brick red. It's very pretty and I love their interior pages and uh although there's no date there's no publishing date in these this one has um, the salutation in it and it says 1910 so it's old it's over 100 years old this one's cute and i like the size i like that it's it's got uh, some good uh width to it sue a little heroine isn't that cute and again, I don't think there's a publishing date in this. Nope. Nope. But I suspect probably around the same era, this, this style of cover. Uh, again, look how pretty that is. Isn't that a pretty book? Fighting the Flames. It's about uh, the Fire Brigade, the London Fire Brigade. I was looking for the date. And again, there's no, there's no publishing date in it. But fortunately, the person who wrote the salutation in it, uh, it was dated Christmas 1915. So it's also over 100 years old. I love this one. Look how pretty that is. New Chronicles of Rebecca. I think that's really, really pretty. Now, I don't know. 
Annetta Brown. Hmm. Yeah, there won't be a date in this. Oh, oh, well, I'll be. 1907. Never say never. 1907. Wow. I love this one. I've done a Ruth Feeling uh, a Ruth Fielding book before. This looks like uh, Betty Gordon at Bramble Farm. But this one's in nicer condition. Forest Hill Village. Oh. Hmm. Now I wonder if there's a year in this. Is there a year? 1930. Well, that's good. So it's almost 90 years old. Not bad. I love this next book. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, Joe. Look at the spine. It's just beautiful. They just don't. They, it sounds so cliche. They don't make books like this anymore. Boy, they, they certainly don't. To Fred with greetings from Aunt Bertha. Let's see if there's a year in beautiful Joe. Oh, I wonder if it's about a dog. Billy would take his ball and go off by himself. Oh, the little dog is Billy. Beautiful Joe, an autobiography of a dog. Oh, it is about a dog. Beautiful Joe is a real dog, and Beautiful Joe is his real name. Aw. Yep, no year. Wow, the author's name is Hezekiah Butterworth. Hezekiah Butterworth. Wow. Well, there's no I again, I would say 1910s, 1920s for a lovely cover like that. That's so pretty. It needs a little bit of cleaning and needs to be resealed, but I would just leave that as is. Now, wait till you see the title for this one. His mother's book. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Look at the colors on that. So vivid. Lovely red. His mother's book. I don't know what it's about. Auto brag from trustees of Sunday School, North Darlington, 1903. Wow. His mother's book. Well, I'm glad they wrote in it because this one doesn't have um, this one doesn't have a copyright date either. But at least we've got this that says 1903. So that one's pretty too, eh? Lovely. Let me get these out of the way. We're still going. We're still going. I grabbed this one. Hold on. Somebody took time. Oh, I want that tape. You know me, I say save the cellophane tape. Now, where should I put it so I don't lose it? <laughs> Somebody took the time to cover this. So it's still in lovely condition. Look at that, modern England English usage. And because of that, I thought, oh, this is probably not that old. It's probably 1960s because it's in spectacular condition. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. But no, no. It's it's quite old. It's just in spectacular condition. Uh 1937. So first of all, these pages I will use again. It's it's just English English usage. So these pages are terrific to use in other journals but this journal itself again lends itself to have fun with the cover and the spine is a nice size so it would make a good sized journal you know I would be able to get gosh maybe near 200 pages into this journal that would be lovely and then this one would be fun I can't turn down a red book so this is and this is my favorite kind of red it's sort of a burgundy red i love the corners the embossing and uh, look at the title the universal home lawyer how cool is that but i don't think there's a publishing date there is a salutation in there for 1935 
but there's no there's no date but again it's got some cool things in it because it's meant as an instruction book for lawyers isn't that great so i it's it's so nice when a book has an interesting cover and inter interesting interior papers and thank goodness when people write inside so you at least have a little bit of an idea so it says september 22nd 1935 up here so i like that one so that was all the books that i found at my kirby church book sale but then we stopped at a yard sale on the way home we saw we spotted a yard sale so there was a little um i got this little reader book and it's cute it's got some pretty little pictures in it i mostly like the cover i don't necessarily it's not really my style of illustrations but it's 1938 so it's old i just think that's cute i like the primary colors red yellow and blue um the great ideas today 1965 britannica great ideas books isn't that a great title for a journal great ideas i just think that's i love when a journal book has a fantastic cover that is a great name a great title for a journal and great ideas today is a great title for uh, a journal <laughs> I can't wait to make something out of that. And it's got a plain cover, so I can have fun with the cover. Love it. And talk about great book titles that lend themselves to being a good journal. Look at the title of this book. Words. <laughs> I love it. This one's this one's definitely seen better days. It's kind of it's kind of floppy and old, but you know me. That doesn't stop me. Um, now, this says 1962. I do believe it's older than that. I seem to recall. 56. So it's been well used, but it's cool. It's um, it's a dictionary. I wondered what kind of book is titled Words. Uh, but, yeah, a dictionary uh, is appropriately titled Words. That's good plain English there. <laughs> and it's... Nicely, uh, nice patina. I like that it's actually not too, um, not too thick, so it won't bulk up a journal, but it would still be fun. Or to make, to use in collaging. Holland gin. A gin imported from Holland. Mmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, hollandaise sauce. <gasps> I love hollandaise sauce. So I loved words. That is going to make for a fun journal. Words. And then the last thing is a book that I've been looking for forever. It's just a typewriting, typing manual. I just wanted the pages to use and put back into um, journals. So I was happy to find that. And I think I got all these books for uh, $3 at the little community sale. So that was nice. And that was going to a good cause. So one, two, three, which one else? Oh, this one was the one. So there we go. That How's that for a book haul? Hmm? I just got rid of a whole bunch and now I just brought, uh, <laughs> I guess, 20 back in. I better, uh, I better get to work this winter. Oh dear. All right, well, Hey, I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope you enjoyed this quick, short, and sweet little book haul. Um, take care. We'll talk soon. Bye.